solar powered satellite internet cameras completely off grid pretty cool Shamrock Creek So one thing we installed uh, back in March or so was uh, this solar powered LTE video camera. Uh, this was on the property before we could even really get in here much. Uh, we could get in, but the road wasn't done and stuff. So we put it up on this post and uh, just kind of see the weather and watch for animals. And that camera's actually gotten some pretty interesting uh, footage on and off. Uh, being LTE means it's just connected to the cellular network, just like your cell phone. Uh, it doesn't really connect via Wi-Fi to the internet. So it's solar powered, it has a very tiny panel has a very small battery, so it can't last very long. Um, however, to solve that, they don't let it record all the time. It only records when it sees motion. Um, so what we do with it is we just connect to it with their app uh, via computer or phone. And when you do that, it fires it up and streams you video and you can watch it for a while or whatever. So it's never run out of power. Like it's really great at, at power management um, because it's not on all the time. What we really want is cameras that are on all the time. So now that we have Dishy up and we have Starlink in, hooray, um, we are going to put up cameras that are using the Wi-Fi and go out the internet via satellite. This is the first one we're going to do. It's a complete experiment because this whole thing is an experiment in off-grid fun. This camera uh, uses 12 volts, which is awesome. It has a big wall wart you plug into your wall at home and then it converts it to 12 volt DC, which is what I want for solar. So I just cut that off, soldered the end straight onto the connector that the charge controller needs and boom, solar powered camera. At home, I built a platform um, out of scrap lumber, a little battery mount. I mounted the charge controller in there. It is a 10 amp charge controller. It's powering an interstate battery, it's just a small one, which can do about 12 amp hours or so, which I think will be right if my math is good. Uh, and then this is a 40 watt solar panel. So just a small panel. This experiment is to see, uh, based on my math, when the weather gets crappy in the Northwest, if this camera can stay on 24 by seven or if it runs out of power and can't charge its battery. The camera itself uh, is only using less, it says it takes an amp, but when I measured it, it was way less than that. It was probably two thirds of that, um, half to two thirds. So that's great. Based on that math, I figured a 40 watt panel on a crappy day can do 20 watts, maybe 15 watts, which is plenty to run that camera. And then some left over to charge the battery. On a day like today where it's gorgeous and sunny, no problem. It'll have plenty of power to get through 24 by seven. The real experiment will be uh, December, January, February when a lot less sunlight and uh, it's overcast a lot. So if this works, then that tells me that I can build a bunch of these and put them wherever I want because as long as the wireless from the upper platform where the satellite is reaches, we're good to go. I could even do point to point wireless if I wanted to get clear across the property. It's 45 acres, so it's a long shot to the other side. Let's mount this post. Let's get the platform and the solar panel, everything I built at home out of scrap lumber mounted on that post, get the camera up there, get it pointed, named, and fired up. This camera, we're going to point down uh, below us. There were on the upper landing where we're building things like the bathhouse and stuff you've seen in other videos. On the edge of that platform, looking down, we put a new salt lick down there um, to see if we can get the elk down there. There's a game camera down there as well, so we can monitor a little closely at, uh, at night to get still pictures of what's down there. You've seen elk on the other landing, which is a, a lower landing down from here that's not finished yet. Uh, that's where they've been hanging out. You see them in all our other videos. We had a, salt, a much smaller, cheap salt lick there. The one we just put in is a big mineral rock. Uh, it's awesome. So the hope is that at some point we can just stream that camera live right to YouTube. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, there's some work to do at Starlink yet on the network capabilities to do that. Not that it can't support it. It's just the way they do network address translation. I can't connect back to the camera from outside. However, I can push the camera video and images from here out to the internet. So this week I will work on some of that. If I do get that working, I will do a little video update on it and let people know how I did that and what I did. We're gonna do the short version because I'm sick of recording this over and over and over again. It's like the fifth time I've done this. Screw you, GoPro.